Hello everyone, I'm Rohit. I, on behalf of Sierra Society, would like to welcome all the teachers to one of the most successful and innovative idea sharing platform of India, ZIIAI, that is Zero Investment Innovation for Education Initiative. Here we will be discussing about new and innovative techniques for the different lessons from our chapters. And in short, we will learn how to make the whole process of learning fun and interesting for the kids. Today, the chapter that I'll be covering is from Class 5 NCRD Board. Subject is Environmental Studies and the name of the lesson is Every Drop Counts. The innovation that I'll be using here for covering this lesson is known as Seeing is Believing, that is, field trips. The main innovation behind using this idea is to make the students understand the concepts that have been taught in the lesson and in short, revise the concepts that have been taught in the lesson through an experiential way so that they can easily relate their things to their day-to-day -day life. The duration for implementing this idea will be one day and some of the important concepts that we'll be covering with the help of this innovation are learning about the modes of water storage and uses of water for future use, future, pur future purpose. As a pre-arrangement for implementing this idea, we will be needing, first of all, to take permission from the authorities in the school as well as from the parents for taking the students for the outdoor activity and second we'll be asking the students to take their tiffin boxes that is they'll be bringing their own food first of all we'll focus on building the idea about the activity that we are going to do and for that we initiate with a discussion we ask the students the following questions we ask them that uh, what is what was the last place that you have visited or you have gone to for uh, in vacation we take their responses we then ask them what are the places that you have seen there then we ask them that have you learned anything from that we take their responses and we inform the students that we visit places because we can learn new things out of it and that is why today we'll be visiting one nearby man-made lake where we'll be learning about the different modes of water storage and we move on to the uh, the nearest man-made lake that is available then we ask the students that uh, what do you think what is this they might say it's a lake then we ask them what do we call this in your local language we take the responses then we ask them can you tell me how do we get water into it they might say from underground or rainwater then we ask them that do you have any of any such water bodies in your home at your place nearby your place we take the responses and then we, uh, then we ask them that why do we need these man-made lakes? Why do we need these lakes for? We take the responses and we inform the students that we make these lakes, we need these lakes as a source of water storage, as a source of storing water so that we can use this water in the other seasons as well. And then we move on to the, our next activity that is giving the students the understanding about the uh, uses of water for future purpose for that we make the students do one activity first of all we make them understand the greenery of the greenery of the nearby soil and the importance of water for the soil we inform the students that water is the purest form rainwater is the purest form of water which is available to us naturally and it is very good for our soil we make the make the students ask the students about the greenery that is near the water body and the one which is far away from the water body. We ask them to observe that and note it down in the notebooks. So they might they might write that near the water bodies, they might write the more number of trees and grasses and the ones for far away from the water body, they might say they might write very less trees or very less grasses. Then we make the students do another activity. We ask the students to collect water soil samples from near the water body first second from any of the from underneath any of the tree and third from a place which is far away from the water body we ask them to observe all the three samples of soil check for the wetness and write it down in the observation notebooks and they do so and then for this innovation this idea that's all we make the students understand and with this process we make the student understand about the concept about the different modes of water stories and how we use water for our daily purpose and for future use and how it is good for the soil and when we start teaching the students in this way we get a lot of learning outcomes first of all they'll be learning the concepts that have been taught in the lesson in a 
much more practical and easier way making them make it helping them to understand the concepts in a much more better way apart from this they will also be developing the critical thinking and decision making process we will be helping them develop a sense of awareness towards the environment apart from this they will also be learning their improving the communication skills and interpersonal skills and for this innovation this idea that's all i hope you like this video and you also take your own students to your nearest man-made lake and make them experience it in a practical way and for this idea if you like this video and you want more of such videos from us please do like share and subscribe to our official channel ZIIEI. thank you